I got the cam in today, so we might just slap her in the block right now to keep her clean and this and that and the other thing. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsa's YouTube channel. So if you look down here, oh look at the garage by the way. Hey look, I got that stuff mounted. I've got belts coming for this thing over here. I've got her cleaned up under here. Here let's have a, let's a little gander. So you clean up this a little bit, it was kind of dicked over and all this and that and the other thing. I got my rack over there now with all my goodies on it. I got the quieter heater going. Looks so much better. Friggin' right. So I got this camshaft from Amazon, of course. It's a Elgin cam. Elgin makes pretty good camshaft, actually. Pretty good reviews on that camshaft. I know it's not a brand name, but I haven't heard anything bad about this camshaft. So this is the one we went with. This camshaft here, just so you know, it is, intakes is 585, exhaust is 585. This is a stage two turbo camshaft. Everybody's wondering, okay. The duration is, 283 on the intake, 286 on the exhaust, and all the other good numbers on there that we're not gonna worry about. But that's what this cam is. So she's close to 600 left she is. There it is right there. And she looks mint. Look at that baby. So we're gonna slip this in the old engine Ruski here in a few minutes, right after I wipe her down. I clean her up a little bit, we'll get her in. So if you wanna see how I slide this in the hole, then just stay tuned because I'm going to slide her in the hole and then put the lifters back in the gullies. So they're all neat and tidy and Bob's a friggin' uncle. So I'm just going to change your battery because you're caught and I'm going to get this thing ready and I'm going to get, uh, don't forget, when you're putting your camshaft in, make sure you get yourself some ultra slicker lubage and we'll lube the hell out of her. All right, so when you're installing a camshaft, the dirty old bills of way, you want to take her like this and you want to put some slickums all the way down. A whole thing like so, eh? Broad diesel. Just like that. And now we're going to give her a rub job. Get her all on the camshaft real good. If you think you need more, put more on. Never hurts to have lots, eh? Because that's what I do. So we'll get it all over it like that. And then we'll put some in here anyways, just for the hell of it. Because I'm not afraid to use this stuff, I really ain't. Put some more on the main bearings, like so. And then we'll uh, slide her in. Jim. Oh, she's nice. Oh yeah, she's beauty. Captain. Look at her go. Joe. Oh yeah. Ooh, Kim is going in. Hold on, we need a doodad thing of bobber. It'll give me an angle of dangle upwards. Will it fit? Friggin' right it'll fit. So I'll slide it in. Careful. Nice and gentle. Give her a turn. Get all the lube on there. Oh yeah. And there you go. Camshaft in the hole. So now we'll put this back in like this. I should put a little bit of slickum on that too, just because I like slickum. Oh, dick. And we'll slide that on there. Slap these bolts in. Now before I put the lifters in, I am gonna line up the uh, this chain. But I gotta look and see what the torque specs are on those, of course. Leave your comments down below if you know torque specs. Would you? Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button too. So, LQ4 torque specs. Here we go, okay. So, we're looking for Camshaft retainer plate, 18 foot pounds on these bad boys. So, we'll get out the trusty piece of crap Princess Auto Special. I'll be right there, I'm gonna take her 18 pounds and then we'll be back. 18 foot pounds, right there. Sorry about that, I know you can't see me right now. Just gotta take the first one. Careful! All right, so as you can see, I cheaped out and got myself a Princess Auto torque wrench for the lower grade because I talked to Snap on and they wanted 500 bucks and I, I just can't, I can't do it, I'm sorry. I'm gonna take the risk and go with a teepee. Why wouldn't I? You're telling me you wouldn't? You're full of it. So let's torque this bad boy. So we'll go, we'll just tighten them, snug them up. 
Like so, played like so. Oh God, that's not very tight. Oh well, that's all it calls for. Makes me nervous. So there we go, that's done. So now we gotta do the timing sprocket, which needs to wipe down. And we gotta line this one up, we do. So according to this, that should be right about there somewhere. The cam's gonna come out a little bit, it does. Let's get this in there and pull her back, there we go. We'll stick that on there like that. And then we'll stick a bolt in the hole and we'll get her stunned up. Oh, hold on, we need to put the chain on, we do. So it's got to be right about there. So let's get the chain on, wherever the hell it went, there it is. So there we go, so let's get this on here. Here lined up, center, right there. There, we, oh look at that, we got her, first shot. I figured right we got her first shot. It's always important to line those two dots up when you're putting these in. So they're saying these are 22 foot-pounds of torque, which also feels kind of not very tight, but it is what it is. So I'll stug them like that. One, two, three. Should I Loctite them? See your comments below if you think I should Loctite them. So there's nothing about Loctite, nothing. I'm gonna look into that a little further. I'm not gonna put that pan back on until you leave comments below. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna Loctite them. I know, just use the blue, eh? Nothing major. I don't feel comfortable not Loctiting that. Because it says nothing about Loctite. Yeah, leave your comments below. Let me know if you think I should pull them bolts back out and put some Loctite on. I'm just gonna, not going to get carried away right now. But I got the cam in. So now we just got to slap the lifters in and Bob's your uncle. So let's get on this side and we'll do the lifters on this side first. And I'm going to put, let them stick them on these too. Rub them all in. Nice. Oh yeah. We'll put it back in here. We'll do the same with this one. I know some of you are going to comment. Oh, you don't need to do that. I'm doing it, Jim. And I'm gonna fill these up with oil too. Get some on the rollers. And now I'm gonna stick these ones in. Let's see if they go in, Jim. Ready? Oh, hold on. I'm gonna try to stick them in using this doodad. And we'll see what happens. They should go in pretty nice actually because this is all cleaned out now. Oh yeah, there you go. Look at that. Friggin' right I did. So we'll slap that in. And then we'll carry on with the next ones. So we'll slick them. We'll get these in. They should slide right in. Oh yeah, baby. Nice. Stick that in there. And now we're going to the other side. Lube it. We'll stick that in there like this. Next. Hey, next. Well, this one's got lots on it. Holy. I've already lubed these up once, eh? So this is getting like overkill lubage. Well, here we go. Throw the bolts in. Let's see what the torque specs on that is. Only really freaking plastic. It's not like you need to over tighten that thing. I don't see nothing in the the buck that says anything on these anyways. So there we go. It's not like you're holding it in. So when you're using your torque wrench, make sure you always take her back to zero. Now all I gotta do is look for the crank bolt. What did I do with that? You think it would have been with my pulley? Where's the other camshaft? It's not in that either. Okay. What the f did I do with that? How do you misplace a crank bolt? It's huge. Oh, that's amazing. Well, it looks like I ate my crank bolt, so I'll have to find that in a bit here. For now, I guess we're just gonna turn the flywheel and rub her in a little bit. Let's give her a little turn. Even though it's just gonna lift some lifters up, they're gonna stay there, but I just wanted to give her a turn. Bring her back to zero. She'll be top dead center. There we go. Oh yeah, top dead center, there you go. Number one's fully excreted. Number one is at the very top, so it's decent. So there we go. This is a short little video of installing the camshaft stage two turbo cam. 585, 585, 283, 286 duration. There you go. So hopefully you enjoyed this little video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button, and hopefully I can find my crank bowl. But in the meantime, don't forget to check out the merch. Love you all, and until next time, you know what to do for now.